Let's take a look at how we can find the orthocenter of a triangle that has vertices with these coordinates. We can start by plotting the vertices and seeing what the triangle should look like. There's a vertice at 0, 0, at 3, comma 3, and at 3, comma 6. Now let me add the sides of the triangle. We can see roughly what it what it looks like. Before we get started trying to find the orthocenter, let me point out this is an obtuse triangle. One of the angles is obtuse, and so we know that the orthocenter is going to fall outside of the triangle. It's not going to be inside, uh, but it's going to be outside of the triangle. So that's just a good thing to keep in mind as we as we work toward our answer. The orthocenter is where the altitudes meet. So to find the orthocenter, we can draw an altitude from at least two of the vertices. And where they cross, that's where the orthocenter is. Since one of the sides is vertical, it's really easy to draw an altitude from the opposite vertex. Because remember, an altitude from a vertex, it has to be perpendicular to the opposite side. So perpendicular to a vertical line, we're going to have a horizontal line. And so from this vertex at 0, 0, the altitude is just the horizontal line that lines up with the x-axis. To find a second altitude, we could choose either of these two vertices. Let's go with this one at 3, 3. So I want to create a vertex that is perpendicular so I want to create a line from this vertex that's perpendicular to the opposite side. So to do that, the easiest way to do that is to find the slope of this side. And so thinking about the slope formula, that side has coordinates at 0, 0 and 3, comma 6. So the slope is going to be 6 minus 0 divided by 3 minus 0. Of course 6 over 3 is just equal to 2. So that's the slope that we have for the side and we want to find an altitude that's perpendicular to that. So the perpendicular slope is negative 1 half. And so thinking about what that looks like from this vertex I want to go over two units and down one, over two units and down one, and finally over two units and down one, and that takes me from 3, 3 down to 5, comma 2, and then 7, comma 1, and finally 9, comma 0. And so the other altitude looks like that. And it crosses the first altitude at this point, which has coordinates 9, comma 0. And that's our answer. We were looking for the orthocenter. The coordinates of the orthocenter are 9, comma 0 for this triangle. So let's take one last moment to pause and think about the altitudes. Remember, altitudes, they form right angles with the opposite side. And so if we extend this side, we can see that the vertical side uh, it forms a right angle with the altitude that's horizontal. And notice this angle here is a right angle. A right angle is formed between this side and that altitude. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.